what's going on everybody it is opening day of dove season here in virginia and this year we're doing something a little special doing a little family dove hunt got my sister out here this afternoon and my dad set up about 30 yards away as well we're out here at the same farm that we hunted for opening day last year up here in this cutover which is just full of poke berries this year and then on top of that the field right next to the cutover this year the farmer just uh took some sorghum off of it so there's more doves up in here than I have ever seen before when the first shots of the afternoon were fired. It was crazy there for about the first three minutes. There was doves getting out of here every direction you were looking and they've started to already trickle back in. We are just kind of getting settled in now. My dad's actually already got five down. He's just popping away. My sister already took a couple shots. They're, they've been landing in this tree right here, right above us right now. And we were set up just a little bit off of it and just a little bit too far for the uh, my old 20 gauge pump that she's using. So we're sitting right under it now. Hopefully she'll be able to shoot them right out of this tree and I'm gonna get settled in here and get my old pump loaded up. But yeah, I got four spinning wings out, We're set up kind of just in this little flat spot right at the edge of the cutover. And uh, birds have been coming from all different directions. Missed that one. That was a little far. What? I see it literally right there. Where? Almost literally vertically up there. Oh yeah, shoot it. Is that safe? Yeah. Come on, shoot it. Good shot. Go get it. You got your first one. You got your first one. Killed my first bird. Here we got three coming our way. Ooh. He was going for the tree, didn't quite make it there. <laughs> Man, they putting the brakes on quick, trying to get up in that tree. Yeah. Number three right there. I'm struggling on some of these birds passing through quick, so I'll take the easy shots when they present themselves. It could just be the, oh, another one right up there. You see him? Yeah. Get him. He's trying to see if there's anything that's going to shoot him. Well, there is. You got him. Nice. All right. Did I see. You film that? Yeah. It's on. Okay. Good job. Give me a fist bump. He smoked him. You're getting the hang of it now. Did you try aiming a little bit further under him? Dad, behind us. Number four, right there. Group of four came by, perfect passing shot. Smoked him. Unfortunately, shot cam is dying on me here. Oh yeah, that is a big one. Is it landing? Come on, you got him. Oh, you got him. Nice. You pinch it on the head and then you just twist. Okay. That's all there is to it. And it doesn't hurt him? Nope, that's as quick as it gets. Here comes one. I get it? Nope. Oh yeah, I got it.
Is it still alive? Grab it. Do do exactly what I just showed you. Twist real hard. Good job. Yep, that's, that's how yours, you do. That's mine. I'm limited out. I got five. Let me do your lap. Between you and that little bridge. Good that's my limit. Well, since this was my sister's first dove hunt, I figured it was only right to eat these doves for dinner tonight or eat some of the doves for dinner. She's never had dove before, so I'm really interested to see what she thinks of it. And we're actually gonna do a recipe I got from a subscriber. This is from Robert Funk. He left this on my opening day dove hunting video from last year. And it's kind of like a casserole slash hot dish. I ate a lot of hot dishes in Minnesota this summer. So I'm interested to see how we can incorporate doves into one. Got our pan here all greased up and I'm just gonna go ahead and start dumping stuff in. I'll put the recipe in the description as Robert gave it to me. I have made a couple changes here. There was, it, this was supposed to be wild rice but we didn't have any so just went with brown rice. Then we got two cans of cream of chicken soup. Those are going in. We got two cans of cream of celery soup. These are thicker, oh gosh. Got two cans of evaporated whole milk. We got 20 dove breasts cut in half. The recipe called for 15, but 15 looked like just a little bit too few. So decided to bump it up to 20. We got a quarter pound of uh, mushrooms. These are uh, button mushrooms. Uh, the recipe did call for half a pound, but only had a quarter pound, so we're just going to roll with that. And then we got half a medium onion and four cloves of garlic, which worked out to about three tablespoons. And we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there, throw it in the oven, cover it in foil, and I'm going to check on it about every 30 minutes. Well, ended up cooking it for just about two hours. Slightly overdid it. Probably could have done about an hour and a half with the brown rice in these portions. But turned out pretty good. Got some bread with it. What do you think about dove? It's pretty good. Tastes like duck. I like it. This will definitely be a recipe I use again, though. Nice to mix things up from poppers for a change. And if I was to change the recipe at all, the only thing I think I would do would be to add maybe a little more spice or some heat in there. I think some jalapenos or some cayenne pepper would complement it pretty well. But that's all I got for this opening day of dove season. If you enjoy these dove hunts and you want to see more of them, I am going to have quite a few more coming out this September. So if you want to click that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. It'll make sure that you don't miss out on any of those future videos. And if you have any questions, about today's hunt or the recipe, leave in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching.